Hey Oklahoma, Sean Cummings here at the Gourmet Grill for Buy For Less. And today I'm gonna to do something really I realized I had never made before. I think I've been doing this six or seven years and I've never made just potato soup. Potatoes, 97 cents for a five pound bag. You can't beat this. We're just gonna peel some, cook some bacon, a little chicken stock, some green onions, and then some smoked blue cheese. It'll be absolutely dynamite. I wanna throw a little cup of cream in at the end just to thick the thing out. It'll be absolutely marvelous. So potato soup, stick with me. Now, big thing I would warn you when you're making potato soup is just don't be too complicated. I'm just gonna do some double smoked bacon. This is some smoked blue cheese, absolutely dynamite. Have a look at that product, it's worth doing. I just like the smoky flavor because it's different. We're gonna cook in a little chicken stock, potatoes, cup of cream at the end, and green onions just to make this thing exciting. So I'm not gonna bore you with me peeling the potatoes. I think you can figure that out. I'll start with the, with the cooking of the uh, bacon. We'll get going from there, all right? Stick with us. All right, so, you know, like anything in life, you can't have enough bacon. So I actually like a lot of bacon. Some people do, some people don't. It's up to you. So we're gonna take this double smoked bacon. We're just gonna cook it off in that pan. We'll go from there. Now, the thing I would warn you with your peeled potatoes, get these things in some broth real quick or they're gonna turn colors on you. All right, now we're going to cook this bacon until it's uh, a little bit crispy and we'll go. All right, now the healthy version of this soup, you drain out this bacon fat. I'm not making the healthy version. I'm making potato soup I'd actually want to eat. So what I do is I get the fat, and once I get enough of it, then I put all the bacon down into this corner like this, and then I just fry it up like it's just, it literally almost like a deep fryer in its own fat. And then we get it all kind of uh, crisped up before we put that chicken stock in there. You just gotta play with it a little bit. This isn't rocket science. It's just darn good potato soup. You're gonna love it. All right, so bacon's nice and crisped up, all right? So now we're gonna throw in, this is just chicken stock, Swanson's chicken stock, and throw those potatoes in on top. Make sure you get the potatoes in this broth before they brown, okay? Makes all the difference in the world. All right, so see what I mean? Before they brown, these things will turn on you really pretty quick. Get these down on that broth, and I'm gonna let these cook. A Little bit of pepper, and we're gonna throw some cream in there, and you're gonna have great soup. Now, you know, the funny thing is from a cook's perspective, what we do is all of us have our favorite kinds of foods. Everybody does, don't care who you are. What you'll find out for most chefs is the simpler the food, the better. And we'll take simple food, we'll doctor it up a little bit, you know, it's amazing what you can do with just a little bit of green onions and some fresh cracked pepper. Here's my advice on this potato soup. Add some fresh cracked pepper or just a little shot of Tabasco right when you're getting ready to eat it. It is dynamite because everything else will be flawless. All right, stick with it. Now, while that's boiling, boiling, while that's boiling, let's get the rest of this done. Got my green onions, got my cream. Have a look at this. This is a smoked blue cheese. Who could ask for anything more? We're just gonna cut that thing open Make sure we crumble it. We're going to put that throughout the whole deal. And it will be dynamite. That's what I'm looking for, man. All right, so soup's boiling hard. You know what we're looking for here? We're looking for those potatoes to soften. We're going to smash some of them in there. So this thing's at a full boil. And what I'm looking at is for the potatoes to get kind of soft enough to be able to just push against the side. And they're there. So I'm going to smash some of those, but I'm going to pour in one container of cream. Really at this point, as soon as it comes back to a boil, it's done. What you're doing is adjusting just for thickness, and that is just in the uh, how much of the potatoes you smash on the side, or if you want it to be kind of runny like this, um, it's up to you. All right, this is my wife's favorite part of the show. She gets to see me scald myself, see how this thing tastes. Oh, that's dynamite. Wow, okay. If you want it thicker, you can add some uh, instant mashed potato flakes or some crackers or something. You don't need to though, that. Man, that is delicious. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and make this final product here. We got our soup in here. Can't beat that stuff. Got this smoked blue cheese going over the top, and we've got our green onions. And that, my friends, is gonna be dynamite. Get a little bit of all of this in there. 
Wow. And there we go. Bye for less okay .com.